if you don't hold kids accountable for their actions, then they become delinquents and juvenile, and then they become offenders as adults, and then they become unproductive to society. Grab a pen and pad and take some notes. Class is in session. Life concepts and solutions. Solutions that meet the moment. Before I begin, I created this channel to provide behavior solutions for adults and children. My goal is 200 subscribers by August. The only way I can do this is for you to share, subscribe, and comment below for feedback on other topics you want me to make a video on. What's going on everybody, it's Mr. BCA. Yeah, I took my daughter to her gymnastics class and while I was outside waiting for her to uh, finish her class, there was this woman with her child and the child was just screaming at the top of her lungs. Um, and the mom just reached in her purse and pulled out the uh, iPad. And once the iPad came out, the little girl got quiet. Today, we will discuss how to reduce the behavior and take back control. Tip one, front loading is a great way for you to help reduce unwanted behaviors. Front loading is simple. All you need to do is come up with the time of when you're going to uh, need them to transition. From the video game to eating dinner, you know that dinner's gonna be ready in an hour. So you tell the child, hey, in 30 minutes, you're gonna have to shut that game down, start washing your hands and get ready for dinner. Now, when we front load, we continually remind them what's about to take place. So that 40 minutes becomes 25 minutes and you let them know, hey, you have 25 minutes left on the game and you let them know that they have less time. And then about five to 10 minutes left to, with the game, then you go into the room, wherever they're playing their game at, uh, preferably in the front room where you have uh, more things that you can uh, redirect them to do. Uh, Cause in the bedroom, they're more comfortable in the bedroom and uh, they're uh, more territorial in, about, in the bedroom. And so they will ask you to leave. I've seen parents get kicked out the room or the kids lock the door and the parents can't get in the room. Um, once you establish the, the baseline and the guideline rules to uh, whatever unwanted behavior you're trying to uh, establish, once it's structured correctly, that you follow through. Follow through. I mean, that, that's just the, the biggest thing because a lot of times, um, once you see the behavior that you want, then you tend to lax up and then you go right back into the same pattern and then ultimately you're right back in the, the first place you started. Once we tackle one behavior, we want to move on to the next. And the only way to do that is to remain steadfast uh, and follow through with whatever plan you come up with. Tip number two, take time away in small increments. Depending on the severity of the behavior, you start to take control of the electronic by taking it away and giving them less time to have the electronic than you did the day before. Now, when I say take it away, that doesn't mean just not give it to them because then you'll have full on tantrums depending on the age, it could turn into some serious aggression. So I'm by no means am I saying to just take the game away from your child. But what I am saying is reduce the amount of time that the child spends on these gaming consoles. For one, you have to come up with amount of time that you think would be necessary for them to be able to transition from the game to something else. Would that be 15 minutes? Would that be 30 minutes? Let's just say it'll probably take about 30 minutes, especially when you are trying to reduce a behavior that you do not want. And so you tell the child. Front loading helps to reduce unwanted behaviors and simple things such as letting the child know that you're going to take the video game away or they need to shut the video game down in 30 minutes. Now, if you get a little pushback and this isn't the beginning to reduce this behavior, then be flexible and say, okay, you know, I'll give you 45 minutes. And once that 45 minute hit, that's when you go and you start to shut down the video game. Once you establish front loading, um, you need to validate feelings and how you validate feelings is simple uh, during the course of front loading and reminding them that they have to get off the game you know you're not going to get what you want 
day one, day two, month one, month two, um, you're going to get what you uh, want um, to reduce that unwanted behavior by consistency and follow through. Now, when they do express feelings such as screaming uh, or if they're in a calm voice and they're whining, saying that they want their game or they want more time or it's not fair, um, validate those feelings. And that just simply means just saying, hey, you know, I understand that you're upset. Um, but what we can do is we can go ahead and eat dinner and then we can do uh, some other chores. We can play some games, something of that nature. But just to make sure you let them know that, you know, the video games are done for the night. Now, when you say something like that, that could trigger a child. And so once that happens, um, then you cannot go back on your word. Once you say video games are over, then it's over. A lot of times kids will uh, become uh, angry, upset uh, for attention. That is attention seeking behavior, which I'll have another video on for you to dive a little deeper into that. Let me know what you guys think. Um, always encouraged to comment below. Uh, please subscribe and please share uh, these videos because I, I am tired of seeing um, these type of behaviors in public. Uh, 